Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am your host Vikas Chandra Patrila, and uh, let's get into your reading for the month of April 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the sign of Cancer. And of course, this uh, predictions, all my predictions are based on how it re just resonates in your life, and don't take it as something that will definitely happen. And also, I am uploading it definitely at the end of the April, so it is just for you to see how it resonates for you. And if it does, you can reach out to me personally and access your own energies. and uh, that's how I, i would definitely recommend for you to do because uh, there are millions of uh, people around here who are cancer including me i'm a sun cancer so even sun moon and rising there are many people out there uh, millions of people so i would recommend for you to just check how it resonates to you and if it does you can reach out to me personally and get a reading and uh, i'm using i'm doing the golden dawn spread for you right now so the first three cards that uh, you are seeing right now is the situation and this is your current path this area and this will be your alternate path this will be your psychological basis and this is karma so this is a spiral that i'll be repeating like a fibonacci sequence so the situation tells you what is your situation is like current path tells you what where you are intending to go alternate path is something that you can alternately do other than your current path psychological basis is something that is running in your background and karma is something that you cannot untie or change you have to definitely go through it and uh, this is the golden dawn spread we can uh, face up the cards and see what we have and uh, i'll be facing up the cards exactly how i have drawn the cards so that the energy will be transferred evenly and across each other so you got cruelty you got devil you got priestess you got gain you got victory so if you're wondering what cards are these these are thought deck by holistic rahli it's mentioned in the description This is success and princess of cups and even the spread is uh, by the book of thought by Alistair Crowley golden dawn spread and that is your golden dawn spread guys now we can start with your reading all right guys let's uh, get into your reading in the situation you got lovers card the moon and ruin two major arcanas and uh, always major arcanas represents a major part in your life and major uh, situations in your life i can see lovers and moon over here let me focus on that and uh, keep the ruin aside because it is a minor arcana it is very easy for us to distract from there but lovers and moon i can see starting from the moon because it's the center of the card and center of the reading let me start from there with the moon lot of emotions are being involved in your situation and in the month of april lot of emotions because you are cancer basically and coming moon also represents that there's a lot of emotions and definitely if you are a moon sign this reading will be very much resonated to you and also if you are watching sun moon rising venus and jupiter definitely uh, one of that if not moon definitely check out your moon sign as well because this is a clear indication and uh, yeah so we got lovers next and lovers represents maybe a particular partner in your life and if you are married definitely your spouse will be very much uh, involved in the month of april for you and uh, very much uh, uh, you know the energy of your spouse is definitely seen a lot in the month of april and definitely if you, if you are someone who are looking to get married definitely uh, you will get to know a lot about your uh, upcoming spouse with the ruin it also represents you don't have to worry about failure and worry about uh, if things are not working out um, if you are not able to make other person happy and not able to communicate your emotions clearly with other person you don't have to worry with the ruin card and 
also this is kind of very high energy so that's your situation let's get into your current path and see what we have you got virtue gain and uh, universe so virtue gain and universe you can see with the virtue card you have to just focus on the opportunities which are there and definitely you're doing it and with the definitely ten of swords um, solution is uh, virtue and definitely you're into that energy which is red and definitely you're cutting down 10 into 3 and you're go going to the positive side with the virtue opportunities and looking for opportunities and also you're ha you're praying to the you're praying to your uh, god you're praying to god and praying universe and also connecting with sun also will help over here to make your wish come true and uh, when i say wish it's not uh, you know making things right again making things uh, making um, new things you know um, new opportunities coming to you to come to you and gain also represents the same thing gaining new perspective new uh, different things and gaining um, you know opening up and in you know uh, inviting the gain new things is what i'm saying and also this will definitely help you to make a lot of money when you do that also with the universe card i can see you know that whatever has happened is for the good and uh, is aligned with the universe and is aligned with your uh, energy and your soul okay so that's your current path lot of belief and lot of being open to receive uh, new opportunities in your current path that is what you're doing let's look into your alternate path whatever you're doing is fantastic with the current path let's look into your alternate alternate path what universe is suggesting for you to do other than your current path if you don't like your current path then definitely you can take it you've got princess of swords victory and cruelty now i can see this energy is uh, definitely you know you cannot avoid okay whatever has happened definitely you cannot avoid so this energy i can see um, there is a lot of uh, emphasis on uh, um, the past okay definitely you have to see your past as something that is uh, um, that 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 is something that you that it cannot uh, um, overcome or overtake your happiness so it cannot do that and no matter how deep it is with the nine of swords the cruelty no matter how deep it is if you're not wrong definitely you won't uh, receive that sadness so you got princess of swords victory and cruelty so it represents that uh, something which happened in the past especially something which is uh, depressing with the cruelty card it says that if you're not if you haven't done anything anything wrong then you don't have to worry about it only the person who has done wrong will uh, suffer in this case and uh, learn a good lesson and also use that to uh, gain victory uh, uh, in upcoming things and uh, be careful with that uh, in your case i can see um, from both ways either ways uh, victory is here okay uh, these things cannot overtake you in your life and uh, your goals in life so you don't have to worry about it there is a shield of uh, wands over here protecting with the fire and with the princess of swords also you have the strength to fight anything and uh, fight the storm fight the conditions fight the tough situations you have the ability and you even though you are not very um uh, strong but you have the intellect to do that and you have the talent to do that with the princess of swords with the psychological basis you got abundance success and devil so in the psychological basis definitely there is a lot of uh, negative energy over here regarding uh, success and abundance meaning that uh, you're thinking that something is blocking to get 
success and something is blocking in order to get abundance and uh, you are thinking that there is some negative energy and that itself is becoming negative energy so it is all regard it is all about your mindset it is all about your mind okay so there is nothing blocking your success okay success is ready it is uh, ready to you know experience you are ready to experience it you are ready to be abundant you are abundant okay but uh, the realization has to happen in the psychological basis that realization has to happen in the subconscious and uh, you have to clear the devil the way you have to clear the devil is that you have to understand the chains are loose okay the whenever you are in this devil energy you will notice that you are tied up with chain but you have to understand that this chain on your neck is loose so you have to just uh, open the chain and just uh, free yourself and that realization has to come until then you will be trapped in this energy um that's psychological basis in the karma you got priestess princess of cups and queen of cups lot of emotions in the karma so totally i can see this month um sun moon rising venus and jupiter especially moon in the situation only you got moon exactly in the center so a lot of emotions a lot of lot of emotions with regards to a person with regards to your uh, your uh, your higher self or even your uh mirror okay your yourself it's exactly you when you look at the mirror that self and uh, even your childhood nature and everything a lot of emotions on that lot of uh, emphasis on uh, intelligence also with the priestess and knowledge so a lo- lot of knowledge will come okay with regards to whatever you are experiencing in life the things the events each and everything will communicate to you emotionally with the priestess and make you enlightened and with the princess of cups uh, definitely you will uh, get the reward whatever you are looking for definitely you will receive whatever uh, you are looking for but you have to be open to everything okay the ups and downs the 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 radio waves even if it is a negative radio wave you have to just understand that in a high priestess mode and analyze it what is the attributes to that wave and then the princess of so cups will uh, open itself and with the queen of cups uh, combined with your emotions you can definitely help others as well with the queen of cups if you open up you can um, if you open up with your experiences in life whatever has happened you can definitely guide other people also and uh, this will definitely heal yourself and other people with the queen of cups that's all i have for you cancer lot of emphasis on emotions as usual with the cancer and uh, cancer ascendant and uh, moon sign people definitely will resonate even better with the sun moon rising uh, the sun jupiter venus and uh, you can see even mars also you can watch usually i don't be doing mars but lot of fiery energy in the situation and current path and uh, blood i can see so definitely check out your mars also okay in this case and also uh, the four elements are also seen here with the water fire air and earth and a um, lot of major arcanas especially in the subconscious so you have to meditate and clear whatever is uh, in the subconscious listen to positive vibrations positive music that can help and also uh, connect with earth lot of uh, pentacles if you focus on pentacles with the gain and success over here you can definitely be in the present moment by connecting with nature and everything and uh, focus on what you already have with the abundance card and uh, don't focus on what can bring in the future or what uh, blockages are there okay there is no blockages it is all in the mind okay that's all i have for you cancer if you like to get a personal reading from me you can check out my poster i do offer services for tarot readings astrological readings daily tarot readings and life coaching and uh, you can reach out to me via my social media links and uh, i'll get into your call with you and we can discuss all your problems from there until then i'll catch you guys in the next one thank you guys for so much support and thanks for watching and thank you